Hi there, สวัสดีครับ You are watching Dr. Gui Channel. Today we are going to show you the automatic voltage stabilizer. The capacity of this stabilizer is 10 kVA, and the model is SKM1010A. This stabilizer made by number one manufacturer in India. So this confirm that the stabilizer has been designed. Which uh, very from very good R and D team, and also with the again ruggedized module. So let's see the features and also what the function uh, of this stabilizer in this video. Okay, in front uh, of the stabilizer, it has the display showing the status of the input and the output voltage so uh, for this uh, stabilizer we can see a very special range uh, which the voltage uh, can be support so if we see uh, from the guidebook that is coming uh, in the box it written uh, as the Y range which support from 90 volt to 270 volt that's mean if the input voltage is coming and the low too low as the 90 volt this stabilizer still can adjust and increase the voltage to supply to the loads and if the input voltage is too high up to 270 volt it will help to adjust lower the voltage down to supply to the loads and the installation uh, of the stabilizer I will show you shortly on the back of this stabilizer but we can see uh, from the manual which uh, showing the diagram very clear that you have to connect the line neutral and earth these three cables to the stabilizer and also the same output to the load which has the line neutral and earth all right and also um, once again uh, the stabilizer is the fanless so it help to save the power so you can use and also help uh, to save the energy or the electricity all right and with the natural cooling will help this stabilizer can work very, very reliable so it doesn't depend on the cooling fan inside because again this is the fanless and with very good design inside consists of very big relay which has been put in this uh, stabilizer we will show you about uh, how does it look like on the back and how to do the hardware installation or the power cable uh, installation on the back shortly all right now we are at the back of the stabilizer and you will see the data sheet or the label of the stabilizer which uh, indicate that uh, the module is SKM1010A and specific uh, very clear about the range which is very wide start from 90 volt to 270 volt on the back there is the metal plate to cover the terminal and also has the indicator uh, written over here state about uh, which side of the cable is the input and which side is for the output from the back we will see uh, the left group over here the left pair is 
the terminal for the input power cable. On the right pair is the pair or the terminals for the output power cable. So the output will be feed to the loads. Alright? And once again, the earth cable have to be installed as usual. And you have to give the space around the stabilizer by 5 centimeters because this working by the natural cooling so it just need very uh, small space like 5 centimeters away from the back okay and also from the side 5 centimeters allow the air to flow inside and also allow the air to go outside the stabilizer. From the design, the hardware design, you will see the cable, the power cable is very rugged and the size is very big. That means this design and comply very seriously to meet the huge usage as the size or the capacity of this stabilizer is 10 kVA so you can confidence on this stabilizer all right and this is the metal plate uh, to cover on the back so every time uh, when you finish the installation make sure you have put the metal plate to protect anything to touch the metal part on the back so this has to be uh, made by metal all right because uh, if this one made by something uh, that can broken can be broken so uh, it is possible to have uh, the accident by uh, something uh, to touch or connect the metal part and cause the short circuits so uh, the good stabilizer the cover uh, of the termi terminal at the back have to be the metal all right so we will uh, show you uh, in a minute about the voltage adjustment and how does it work when the high voltage come and how does it adjust the voltage when the low voltage uh, is coming I will show you shortly all right, we are come back uh, to the front of the stabilizer, which the front panel display about the input voltage, 110, 111, and output OP is is for the output 244. So uh, to see the status overall with uh, the demonstration, which I connect. Uh, to the fan, the fan, the table fan on the back, you will see the speed of the fan. In this case, the incoming input voltage is very low at 110 volt, but the fan is still turned very strong with the 200 because the output voltage is about 244 or 245. That's been uh, this uh, can take care uh, very good and especially uh, very uh, nice to work with the loads type uh, of the motors because the motor require uh, the certain voltage uh, to running at the certain speed or the minimum speed that's why uh, this stabilizer even the input incoming input voltage is down to 100 volt uh, about 110 volt the output is 244 that's mean the fan is that still can uh, turn very strong you can see on the back and if we uh, test for the low cut of this stabilizer if the incoming input voltage is less than 90 volt it will cut that's mean the fan is stopped working right you see uh, the input voltage here is 76 and the output is zero 
so that's been this stabilizer have done the great job doing the low cut all right low cut the fan stop working and then we uh, come back again to give uh, some certain voltage uh, to this stabilizer and let's see the fan is start working automatically so this is uh, have the same design with the zero touch stabilizer which Dr. Green very emphasize made your life easier very comfortable to use and having the ruggedized design these three factors is very important okay and the fourth factor that is also very important is this stabilizer the stabilizer have to help you to save the power that's mean the micro processor inside has to work very well to manage and also to get the air okay the natural air to cool itself so it doesn't require any fan once you don't have any fan inside it will help to save the power so make sure every time you're looking for the stabilizer it has to have the ability to do the self uh, cooling or natural cooling or having the fanless design all right so we will uh, show you in a couple uh, input voltage range uh, to see uh, about the demonstration and and also the capability of the stabilizer how does it uh, respond against the input voltage so the incoming input voltage is now about 130 is still very low but the output is very good 238 is similar to live in the city the voltage that you are living in the city is about this type this range so your fan or your aircon at your home will be very happy or the aircon or the fan at your home will work uh, at the optimum speed so you can you will get the fresh air out from the aircon you will get very strong wind from the fan as you can see on the back of this uh, demonstration session all right if we increase the voltage uh, now okay let's see uh, the noise uh, that you can hear just now is the noise from the relay inside uh, which working very smooth and the size of the relay inside is very huge okay we see uh, the other range the input is about 167 and the output is 213 volt still more than 200 volt very good input range okay so we see uh, the input 200 something the output is still very close to 220 so in this case it's 218 volt and if we increase the voltage up to 243 volt out input you will see it help to adjust or lower the in input voltage okay to be close uh, to 220 volt so in this case we see 215 volts volt output and if the input voltage is 267 it help to adjust the voltage uh, level down to 235 so we can see this stabilizer can work very fast respond to the input voltage and you will hear the relay working right this is uh, the sound of the relay inside uh, working very smooth and the response very quick in this case uh, we will see again uh, one more uh, example so if the input is 120 volts the output is 219 volts which uh, is still great uh, output voltage range so if you have uh, 
more questions uh, regarding the stabilizer and especially for the model uh, for this model SKM uh, 110A or 1010A please uh, leave us the comments or just contact us on the contact information uh, down below of this video if you like this video give us the thumbs up uh, put the subscription button and share uh, this video uh, with your friends on the social medias thank you very much for watching again and see you in the next video ขอบคุณครับสวัสดีครับ